The following story is fictional, yet many of the information appliances, computing tools, and measurement technologies you are about to see are either available today or are being developed now by Hewlett Packard and its partners. As these technologies become realized and integrated, the possibilities for their use become endless. The quake hit about an hour ago, and we're just now getting details as to how massive this shaker really is. We're also told that the quake was centered in the northern San Gabriel Mountains and has a moment magnitude of 7.3. And again, this number is only preliminary. And California Emergency Management is asking everyone to please stay off the streets, using them only if absolutely necessary. This to allow for emergency vehicles to pass through. I'm Joe Sanchez reporting live for CN News. Thanks, Joe. Unfortunately, earthquake alarms alerted many residents of L.A. this morning, and no telling how many lives were saved because of the advanced warning. System. Here in downtown L.A., Show status, about 15 seconds notice between the time sirens went off... Show priority one only. Stand by at that location, will you? Official flight. Red Cross. Establish a silver shelter jet. Okay, no. All safe schools are permanent. They would. We have units on the way. Fire Battalion 3. System sensors indicate zero hydrant pressure at your incident. Advise you use Garvey Reservoir one half mile to the east of your fire as a drafting point. Stand by to capture SITSTAT map. And note that Garfield Road is out. Come to your data. Good morning. Chief, the media wants a statement. Uh, Charlie should handle that. And have not seen me. What's the picture here, Michael? It's changing fast, but here's what we know so far. About 50 homes are burning in Altadena. We're coordinating mutual aid with the local fire units. There's structural damage all over the East County. But casualty reports aren't reliable yet. Uh, half a dozen freeway sections are down. Water and power outages in these areas. And we have a freight train derailed in Vernon. We're getting a signal for a hazardous chemical leak. What's our resource status? Police and fire pretty tied up from Glendale East. But I think we can fill the gaps once we get the road conditions sorted out. Medical facilities are holding up. Where's our focus now? Here's a Caltech GIS map. Our survey teams are in these areas checking the buildings with the highest damage probabilities. Hazmat unit Delta, this is Fire Air 2. We have the train in sight. Over. Roger, Air 2. Stand by for vectors to your sensor release point. Ellie, your crew is in position. That's affirmative. Here's an update on the chemical spill in Vernon. We have a GPS alert saying it's hydrocyanic acid and the sensors on the train are showing a pretty heavy flow rate. This is bad stuff. We need to take measurements, but our system is predicting a vapor plume in this area. We may need to order an evacuation. Okay. Trigger the local hospital alerts. And if you need highway patrol backup, let us know. Thanks, Ellie. Thanks. Well, let's see what else we got out there. New incident report. Address, 1520 Alta Vista Drive, Glendale. Description, severely collapsed apartment building. 
casualties. Hey, 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 hey look, Calm down. there's some people Calm over down. there in that building, the trap. Um, I, I don't know, four or five, maybe. Do you um, know who owns um, this apartment building? No, I no, do, I, I know. you gotta help me. Do you have the name and address? Can you write it down for me? I need this right away. Listen, I need you to calm down, and I need you to keep these people still and away from that building. All right, all right. Just until help gets here, yeah, yeah, all right? All right Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Code level, priority one. Casualties, four or five trapped and possibly injured victims. Request. Urban search and rescue. Special needs. Building plan. In there, have you got that for me? Note. Owner's name and address attached. Read. Transmit. Come on. Yes. That's awful big for an app. I'll show the kids. I need to get it back up now. Come on back. All right. Are you all right back here? Come on. Come on back up. Come on, give me a connection here. That's better. Keep it coming. No, thank you. Have you used our squad? We're down for a moment. Do you read it? Good. Respond to a priority one alert. Here comes the incident report. Additional data will follow. And this just in. We are getting word now of a potentially dangerous chemical spill in the Vernon area. We are told that emergency officials may issue a statement momentarily, but there is no confirmation yet on the extent of the hazard. That, in brief, is what we know at this early stage. We want to remind you that the Red Cross information on your screen is now available for on-demand systems. To find emergency medical locations in your area, choose one. For shelter, water, food, or clothing needs, choose two. For highway information, choose three. Remember, this information is being updated constantly and is also available for printing. Chief, Hazmat's recommending a pretty big evacuation around that chemical spill. We need to get a report out to the media. But Ellie wants to talk to you first. Ellie, what's up? We've started containment on the chemical hang, but the spill rate's been pretty heavy. Here's what our airborne instruments are indicating. The hydrocyanic acid is leaking here. And it's vaporizing very fast. That's the plume you see. That's an industrial area. Right. But here's what happens when we project forward. With the predicted winds, the system gives us an evacuation advisory in 15 minutes. At the two-hour mark, the plume expands into this populated area. We get a full run for cover alert before it dissipates. What's your evacuation profile? It's here. Trouble is, we don't have the manpower to get instructions to an area of this size. Plus, we need printouts in these languages. Okay. You got to go ahead on anything you need. We'll put together the evacuation orders here, transmit them to the field, and route you all the police units we can. Thanks. Let's give this information to the press. Ready? Well, we tracked down the original plans on that part, Terry. Okay. Pretty basic, but they may work. Here comes your data. Thanks. Yeah, we got it. All right, good. The power feed's here, the gas connector's around back. Hair should deal with that. Okay, now, judging by their voices, I think the people are here in this stairway. Okay. That means we're going to go into the second floor hallway right there. I'll get Martina started on that. Now, we're hooking up audio sensors to the building to listen for structural movement. Once it's hooked up, I'm going to aim the output to you, and you are going to warn us if there's any movement, all right? Right. All right, come on, let's go. Print, Spanish, 25. Print. Uh -huh. 
Aquí estamos en esta línea por mucho de esperando. Señora, ¿cuándo podremos regresar a nuestra casa? Ma'am, when will we be able to return to our home? We think it will just be 24 hours. Call the number on this page tomorrow. Pensamos que 24 horas. Llame el número en esta hora mañana. Ah, qué bien. Gracias, señora. So, damage reports are slowing down. We're coordinating with the utilities to bring the water and power back up, and the evacuation of Vernon is underway. And things are still hectic, Governor, but at least we have a handle on where we stand. Well, the National Guard is all yours. And Barbara, let me know if there's anything we can do to help. I'd like us all to meet in a couple of hours for another update, if it's all right with our fire chief. Hank? All right, we'll get back to you then. Okay, we're coming in to get this. Okay, now, now watch it. The sensors are picking up some movement. Hey, calm, we're coming. We're all in the stairwell now. Do you have anything near here? No, the motion seems to be mainly on the east wall. Uh, <laughs> backboard. Okay. Hello, hello, what's your name? Yeah, what's this, uh, right backboard in here. Annie, it's fire department. We're gonna get you right out. Come on. Okay, reach up and take my hand. You're in here. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold Good on, honey. Okay. Better? Give me a reach. Yeah, bring her out. There we go. Okay. Okay, we got hand. Don't worry. Mama's coming. Right. All right. All right. We'll work the hole. Work the hole. Be careful here, guys. It's pretty. Respiration's 24. Respiration's 24. She's okay. She's okay. Skin color's normal. Skin color normal. No visible signs of trauma. No visible signs of trauma. Honey, it's gonna be okay here. I'm just gonna listen to your lungs, sir, okay? All right, hold on. Up we go. Mom and Annie are out of the crew. Anybody else in there? Okay. Incident report, 1520 Alta Vista Drive, Glendale. All subjects removed safely, no serious injuries, code level update, incident is clear. And to see how officials responded to today's earthquake, let's go now to the Southern California Emergency Operations Center, where most of the area's emergency resources are coordinated. Sandra, are you there? A short while ago, I spoke with L.A. Fire Bureau Chief Hank Morgan and asked him how the agencies under his command responded today. Well, I think things went as well as we can hope. I mean, you never know what you're going to face, but we saved some lives today. You're able to pull together a lot of information here from a lot of sources. Has that helped? Well, yeah, of course. But I think you ought to remember that information doesn't do anything. It's people that do things. I mean, all we want is to get the right people together, give them the facts they need, and let them do their jobs. I think we're able to do that pretty well.